three reasons why you don't want to take the 70 to take Social Security. So Denise has sent this to me, and Denise is our favorite, uh, let's just put this way, second lived person, all right? Because <laughs> she, uh, she literally died. She, she flatlined a couple years ago. And uh, oh, okay, look at Crowley McGee. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at him. Hi, baby. Oh, he loves his dad. He wants some attention. Hi, baby. Oh, the gay baby. Look at him. He just loves his dad. We love you too, Pablo. Everyone loves Stone and Pablo. Pablo's like, I need my spliff. I need some sense of me. Or sense of Amelia? Is that what's going on? <laughs> All right, so from Kiplinger's, Denise had more of an issue with this than I do. Um, and uh, Denise, also our residential sleuth. So don't be commenting negative stuff on there. She'll find out who you are. Woo, Nelly. Okay. Pros and cons. Waiting until 70 to file for Social Security comes with a higher check, but there could be financial consequences. Look at this guy. He's like, man, I waited to 70. Should have done that. Um, right here. Claiming at 70 could limit your overall income. Yep. Waiting until 70 to claim benefits allows you to maximize your monthly payments, but there's a chance you may not live long enough to see it. In fact, I've I got a guy... Uh, all right, there we go. Who, yeah, I used to work with that USA. And um, just, man, it's sad. I used to, I, this guy, I just found out he just died. This uh, great, great, they live here in Georgia, in North Georgia, just one county over. And his son just emailed me. I was like, man, i just so sad. It's because it's just such a, he and his wife are just so great. And I was like, man, I guess cancer. He, he died at 77. You know? So at most, he has seven years. I mean, at, um, at, he, he didn't even make it even, even if he took a break, even if he took at 62. It's just sad, dude. And yeah, my man James, uh, his dad looked like he could be in a world of hurt, and it sounds like he's doing okay, but it's just, it's just sad, man. And you just don't know. You don't know. If we all knew when we were going to die, we could easily do financial planning. We just don't know. But it's 1%. If you die soon, too early, you're going to lose your benefits. Uh, National Institute of Aging, those 65 and older are much likely to suffer a heart attack, stroke, or developed heart disease. Watch out your take consumption of Tylenol, acetaminophen. Just watch out. I'm just telling you. Look it up, man. Look it up. Just be careful. There's some big issues. Potentially. I'm not giving you advice. I'm just saying look it up. Just watch out. Uh, I would also, well, I don't want to say much more, but uh, you might just want to look into your statins too. Just look into it. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying you might want to look into it as well. All right, let's keep going. If you fall ill and pass before you hit 70, you'll miss out on collecting benefits altogether. Well, if you fall ill and pass out pass out uh, before you hit 62, you will as well. But that's 100% right. You, you could limit your overall income. That's just a fact. Claiming at 70 could also reduce your spousal benefits. I completely agree there as well, 100%. If you and your spouse are both 67 and you wait till your, and let's just say your spouse has a thousand bucks and uh, and your benefit's 3,000 bucks and you're both 67, right? If you wait till 70 to claim, your spouse is leaving $500 a month on the table. That's $6,000 a year because she's only getting $1,000 a month on her benefit record where she could be getting $1,500 a month if you had filed. All right, so that's, uh, that's $18,000. And even worse, if she doesn't get any benefit whatsoever. I deal with all kinds of people. Spouse doesn't get any benefit. They don't have the 40 quarters. And as such, they're not going to get anything until the spouse files. And a lot of times I say, you should file, file at 62. Like I'm dealing with a guy, he's a little bit younger than his wife. And I remember I said, I was thinking, I can't remember the exact circumstance. I said, man, you should file 62 because you can open up the window for your wife, if that makes sense. And uh, most likely she was going to die before him anyway. I can't remember the exact circumstance, but it's like, you know, men can travel light, dude. When men are widowers, we don't need much, dude. I'm just telling you right now. We just don't, we need a dog. We need a small garden. We need a friggin' Traeger grill and some Costco beef, you know what I'm saying? And you're, you're, that's all you, I look, man, I say this all, look at these shoes right here. You want to see these shoes? These are my shoes. These are Clark's, I no, uh, Sperry's. Look at this, the soles. I mean, I've had these shoes for freaking years. I don't, I mean, hell, I don't even, I sleep in my shoes. I take showers in my shoes and they're still crushing. These shoes, I mean, I've had these shoes for years. We just don't need much, man. It's uh, just a fact. And if you are a man and needs much, you need to be going back to man class, all right? Let's see what else. You're still required to enroll and pay for Medicare at 65. I'm not going to go into the hold harmless provision here because I've done videos on that. Um, but you would want to look up hold harmless. It's uh, and then on top of it, you still got you're basically escrowing your own Medicare essentially. That, that can be a pain in the butt. Um, yeah, but you know there's other reasons taking it early. I mean, if you have a, a young child, I, mean, I deal with all kinds of old guys who got young children now. I mean, there's many reasons, but these are three right there. That's all I wanted to provide to you here today. So three reasons. 
not to wait till 70 to take Social Security. There are many others. So maybe I'll do another video on that, too. So if you want me to do another reason video on not to do wait till 70, give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Have you subscribed? Have you subscribed? Over 50% of you haven't subscribed. How double dog dare you? Hit the subscribe button.